Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now in this video, I'm going to explain you about break-even analysis. Actually, break-even analysis is a study of marginal costing. Two types of costings are there. There is absorption costing and marginal costing. In marginal costing, we divide the cost into fixed and variable. By distinguishing the cost into fixed and variable, we can find out, we can take a number of managerial decisions. So this break-even analysis is a part of marginal costing. It's a study of profit, volume and cost relationship. Profit, volume, cost relationship. So before uh, explaining the topic of break-even analysis, take the screenshot of the points which I have written in the, on the board. Then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, <clears throat> the meaning of break-even analysis. Break-even analysis refers to the study of cost, volume, profit analysis. CVP analysis, cost, volume, profit analysis. So it refers to the analysis of cost and their possible impact on revenue and volume of production. So this break-even analysis will explain the relationship of cost that will have an impact on the profit and also on the volume of the firm. Then break -even analysis concerned with determination of particular volume at which the firm whose cost will be equal to revenue. So this break even analysis will be helpful to the firm to find out what is the level of production at which the total cost and total revenue will be equal. When the cost is equal to revenue, that means there is no profit at all. So simply by applying this break-even analysis, we will find out what is the level at which no profit, no loss. Now, break-even analysis can be viewed in two ways. <clears throat> there are two different meanings of the term break-even analysis. In the broader meaning, according to the broad view, it refers to the study of relationship of cost, volume of profit at different levels of sales or production. We are going to find out <clears throat> what is the relationship between cost, volume and profit at different levels of sales or different levels of production. How there is uh, the relationship between these three items, cost, volume and profit at different levels of sales. That is the broad meaning of the term break even analysis. In the narrow meaning, it means a technique determining the level of operation at which total revenue is equal to total expenses. That is, there is no profit, no loss. In the narrow sense, the break even analysis means a technique in order to find out that level of activity at which there is neither profit nor loss. That means all the revenue is equal to all cost. That means income and expenditure both are equal. No profit, no loss. So at what level of activity this will happen? That is the meaning of the term break even analysis in narrow sense. Now, the profit, the point of no profit or no loss is determined as is called as BEP, break even point. It is that point at which there is neither profit nor loss. So this is a brief explanation about break-even analysis. Now, the main objective of break-even analysis is to find out the BEP. Apart from BEP, number of, uh, I mean, uh, things we can be able to find out. But the most important thing we can find by BEP break-even analysis is finding out the break-even point. So how to find out the break-even point? There are a number of formulas are given. The first formula, BP can be calculated either in units or in amount or in rupees. Just like if I'm, if I'm manufacturing air coolers, so I will find out by producing and selling how many air coolers I'll be, I'll, I'll be having no profit, no loss. My business will break even at how many air coolers sold. So in this way, I'm finding out BP in units. Suppose if I say monthly, if I sell 10 air coolers, I will be at BP. So 10 air coolers is the number of units. By selling 10 air coolers, I'll be no profit. I'll be at no profit, no loss. How over 10 coolers, I'll get the profit. 
If I sell below 10 air coolers, I will incur loss. So this is the break-even point in units. If you want to find out BEP in rupees, then multiply the BEP in units into selling price per unit. The break-even point in units into selling price per unit will give you BEP in rupees. Or one more formula, BEP in rupees is equal to fixed cost by PV ratio. Fixed cost by profit volume ratio. This will give you BEP. Or one more formula, BEP in rupees is equal to F into S divided by S minus V. Fixed cost into sales divided by sales minus variable cost. Any formula you can apply, you will get the same answer. Particularly, the units formula is fixed cost divided by selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. These are the formulas to calculate the break-even point. The point at which there is neither profit nor loss. Now, assumptions of break-even analysis. This break-even analysis concept is based on a number of assumptions. The first assumption, all costs can be divided into fixed and variable cost. So until and unless the costs are clearly uh, classified into fixed and variable, we cannot apply break-even analysis. This is the first prerequisite that before applying break-even analysis, we must be able to separate all the fixed cost and variable cost. Secondly, fixed cost remains constant whereas variable cost will change with the output. Second assumption is the fixed cost we assume that always it will remain same, it is not going to change. Whether we produce less number of units or more number of units, the fixed cost will not change. And variable cost will change proportionately with the output. More variable cost, more output, more variable cost, less output, less variable cost. This relationship should be there. Thirdly, selling price remains constant. When we apply break-even analysis, we should assume that selling price is not going to change. If it changes, then our break-even analysis will not give the true results. The number of units produced will be same. How many units we are going to sell? That should be clear, constant. And there is no change in the operating efficiency. The efficiency of all the operations should not change. Lastly, there is always one product or the product mix will remain same. The last assumption is we are producing only one product or we are having a product mix and there is no change in the product mix. We cannot change the product mix. So these are the assumptions on which this break-even analysis is based. So in examination, you may get a question like explain break-even analysis and what are the assumptions? These are the assumptions. Now application or uses where this break-even analysis will be used. Remember one point, break-even analysis is very important management technique for taking a number of decisions. By using this break-even analysis, the management will solve many, uh, many, I mean, alternatives, many problems. Now, make or buy decisions. Many a times, the management is faced with the problem whether to make the component or buy it from outside. So this type of problem is called make or buy decision. So for taking make or buy decision, it's a handy tool. This break-even analysis is a handy tool in the hands of management to take a prudent right decision whether to make the product or buy it from outside. That's deciding whether the product in the department is to be dropped or continued. Sometimes a management is faced with the problem that whether we should uh, stop this product or department or should we continue the product. Example, a company is producing five products. All the five products are not equally profitable. Some products are going in losses. Now management has to decide whether we should drop this project or should continue the project again in this type of problem, break-even analysis will come to the rescue of the management in taking a right decision. Next one, cost can be controlled by using break-even analysis. When we divide the cost into fixed and variable, we can be able to, management can be able to find out where the cost is controllable. So they can be able to control the cost. Controlling the cost means increasing the profitability. Next, planning of future operation of business firm to achieve maximum profit and to maintain desired level of profit, break even analysis is used. First of all, <clears throat> management's main function is planning for future operations. 
we have to decide in advance how many good how many units should be produced how many units should be sold all this planning is required by the management and break even analysis will be very much helpful to the management regarding planning the future operations next one is price of product can be fixed by using break even analysis one of the important decision to be taken by the management is fixing the price if we correctly fix the price definitely our demand will increase our sales will increase profitability increase if arbitrarily carelessly if we fix the price definitely we cannot achieve our objective of maximizing the profit so in fixing the price again break even analysis is a very handy tool additional orders export orders and exploring new market can be done by using break even analysis see always the market is not stagnant we have to capture the new markets a new order has been received whether we should accept the order or not to accept the order this type of decision again to be taken by the management and this uh, break even analysis will be of very much help next it helps in solving the problem of key factor or limiting factor every business organization is faced with the problem of key factor or limiting factor which restricts the operations of the business example in some business there is a lack of material the material is a key factor because without that material they cannot be able they cannot be able to produce the goods so material is obstructing the production so how to take the decision when material is a limiting factor some care some business of the labor is limiting they have other resources but labor is lacking so in that case labor is the key factor in some other organization capital is the key factor so how to take the decision when there is a limiting factor or key factor break even analysis will help the management taking the decision the best product mix can be decided by using break even analysis nowadays no business will depend only on one product a business will deal in different products so the business has to find out what is the product mix what is the product mix of we have to follow then break even analysis will be of much help the decision with regard to find the optimum level of activity at what percentage level of activity the business should perform whether the business should perform at 100% 80% 70% capacity break even analysis will be of much help so these are the application areas where break even analysis will be used by the management to take the decisions now advantages many advantages are there of break even analysis that is the reason why throughout the world break even analysis will be widely used by the management to take a number of decisions to achieve a given amount of profit the break even analysis can be used to determine the sales volume the business will set a target that we want to achieve 5 lakh rupees uh, profit from this product in the next year so how to achieve the target profit of 5 lakh rupees how many units we have to sell in order to achieve the target profit of 5 lakh rupees thus that answer we can get by applying break even analysis advantage next margin of safety can be determined by break even analysis through bp margin of safety is the excess of sales over break even sales suppose the break even sales are 10 lakh rupees at 10 lakh rupees sales the business no profit no loss any sales over 10 lakh rupees will give the business profit so whatever are the sales over 10 lakh rupees that is called margin of safety example a business actual sales are 15 lakh whereas break even sales are 10 lakh so how much is the excess sales 5 lakh rupees is called the break margin of safety so to find out the margin of safety again break even analysis will be used break even analysis can be used to forecast the future cost and revenue and can predict the profit by using the break even analysis we can be able to predict the future profit we can make the projections of what would be the cost what how much would be the revenue in future next one is to control the cost in business the cost function can be used see one of the objective is to increase the profitability the profitability will in, will be increased by controlling the cost so by using this break even analysis the management will be in a position to control the cost to reduce the cost that's the advantage last one break even analysis is useful for profit planning in business the break even analysis can be useful in sales projection profit planning 
sales projection these are the areas where the management has to take decisions so for profit planning and for sales projection this breakaway analysis will be of much help to the management in taking the decision so we have concluded about advantages now lastly limitations of break-even analysis don't think that we have only advantages of break-even analysis break-even analysis also suffers from some drawbacks what are the draw few drawbacks are there few drawbacks limitations are there the first limitation is break-even analysis based on number of assumptions which may not hold good in real practice here I have explained you assumptions of break-even analysis these assumptions may not hold good in real practice it will not satisfy example all the cost can be divided into fixed and variable but in real practice it is difficult to, to divide all the cost into fixed and variable some costs are semi variable also and the fixed cost will not be same always sometimes fixed cost will be changed like that variable cost per unit will remain same but it is not necessary when we produce the goods on large scale variable cost per unit may decline so if the assumptions fails then we will not get the true results from break-even analysis it is limited to in the short period only <coughs> this break-even analysis technique is suitable justifiable only during the short run because in the long run we don't have any fixed cost all the cost will become variable in the long period of time every cost is controllable in the long period of time only during short period we have fixed cost and variable cost that's why break-even analysis is applicable only in the short period then it does not take into account the corporate or income tax next limitation is we are faced by corporate tax and income tax that is not considered in the break-even analysis next one it is not realistic and does not hold good in practice because the circumstances are dynamic the situation is so dynamic ever changing the situation is so much changing dynamic in such a situation we cannot be able to apply break-even analysis because uh, by the time we implement the uh, I mean decision the conditions might have changed so in that sir, dynamic and uh, ever-changing situations it is difficult to apply break-even analysis last one it is difficult to make future projections on the face of break-even analysis future is completely uncertain it is highly difficult to, to make the projections about the future by using this break-even analysis so in this video i have explained you about the meaning of the term break-even analysis what are the formulas for break-even analysis what are the assumptions on which this break analysis is based what are the advantages and limitations of break even analysis and this question is also frequently asked in examination watch the video with full concentration definitely you will get a lot of confidence on the topic of break even analysis inshallah the next topic i'll take up in the next video